everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello and welcome I hope you guys enjoy this video and what I'm gonna talk about and I should probably tell you what I'm gonna talk about but it's about books because I love me some books and I feel like I never get to talk about books that much on this channel because I do predominantly do beauty and fashion videos but I wanted to change that up today and talk about five books that I love reading and that I think you guys will love reading this summer so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it the first book I'm going to talk about is a book I just finished reading like a few days ago and it's Lily Collins Unfiltered No Shame No Regrets Just Me book. Guys, I love this book so much. I'm going to cherish it forever because I learned so much in this book that I didn't think I was going to. I thought it was just, you know, another book about life story and I thought, you know, I love those books but there's so many life lessons that she talks about in here. It's basically just a series of um, short essays that she just put together. So some are about her addictions, mostly when it came to restricting herself food-wise and having anorexia and bulimia. Some of it's about abuse she endured from her boyfriend, but a lot of it's also about her learning to love herself and getting through a lot of obstacles and hurdles that life threw at her, which I think is great. And she didn't sugarcoat anything. She really talked about the process that people have to go through. And the Feeling that has to occur in order for you to like you know get on the other side at first I thought this was just gonna be a book you know for teenagers or younger girls but as I read it I really realized that this is a book for anybody and everybody that just wants to hear somebody's story about how you have to go through things to get up on the other side and I think that's great so definitely pick this up it was a great read and although it's emotional it will really make you realize that you're not alone in struggles in life and that everything takes time and everything's a process so definitely pick this book up it's super super good and it's got some really cute pictures inside which you know pictures in a book plus it's a plus <laughs> The next two books I have to show you guys are actually by the same author. This one is Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns? And this one is Why Not Me? I'm going to talk about Mindy's first book first because that just makes sense to go in order. And it's the Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns? This was such a good book to read in high school. That was the first time I read it and it really helped with my questions like is everyone hanging out without me? Um, why am I different? Do, why do I care if people like me? But I do care. It really was helpful but it was also funny which I love. I love books that can like talk about serious subjects but make it funny and she also talks about her high school years and just her coming of age story. Yeah this I would say this is her coming of age story so if you're wondering about how Mindy you know maneuvered life before she hit it big with you know the Mindy project more like when she was working her way up to the office and getting her start with her off-Broadway show this is a good book to read. It's such a motivating book because it makes you realize that everybody has to go through struggles to get to that end result. I read Mindy's second book about, I'm gonna say, a few months ago and I enjoyed it just as much as the first one. This one talks more about Mindy now and her working on the Mindy project and I have to say this book is really funny too. I love the back and it's just like a diaphragm of her uh, heart and some spots are like my phone, my phone charger, Stephen Colbert, attention, praise, and it's just really funny. She does a really good job of just talking about her life in a really funny way. And what's great about Mindy's books is she's not afraid to get real, just like Lily Collins. She gets super real about her life and her romantic life and her friendship life and just all parts of, you know, who she is. So I love that when people are just really raw and talk about who they are and, you know, aren't afraid to like take off some layers for people to see. That's, I feel like that is really hard for people to do and she does such a flawless job of doing it in this book. It's like also this part in the book where she talks about getting ready and she just has different photos of like her in bed, her driving to work, her in curler. She's just so real, it's amazing. I just love Mindy as you can tell but she's just one of my favorites so I, I'm very biased about Mindy's books. I do think they're really good and you should really try your best to get your hands on her books because guys they're just they're so good. So we're gonna switch up gears and go to a fiction book and this one is The Light Between Oceans just looks like this. It's the movie cover, like the newer movie cover. Not gonna lie, I did see the trailer for the movie and that's when I was like, this looks really interesting. Let me see if it's a book. And it was, so I was like, I gotta read the book before I see the movie. Although I still haven't seen the movie yet. So if you guys have, tell me down below how it was because I don't know, I really love the book so I'm kind of scared that the movie won't live up to the book. But anyway, let me get into what this book's about. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the synopsis on the back just to give you guys a feel of what the book's about. It says, after four harrowing years on the Western Front, Tom Sherborn returns to Australia and takes a job as the lighthouse keeper on Janice Rock. Nearly half a day's journey from the coast to this isolated island where the supply boat comes 
once a year, once a season. Tom brings a young, bold, and loving wife, Isabel. I skipped a few parts of that synopsis because I didn't want to give some parts away, but it's really interesting. Like it says, it's a married couple on an island and a dead man and a baby wash ashore. And after that, a lot of things happen that just causes a lot of chaos for the couple and all the parties involved. This is a really interesting book because I could not put it down. I read it in like three days. I was just so interested in the story. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little heartbreaking in some moments, but it's a really good book. The last book I wanna talk about, I don't have physically because it is an audio book and I read it on Audible. Well, I listened to it on Audible and it's Lily Singh book. I'll put it like somewhere right here, like right here, right here. Post-production me, please please put something right here so I don't look crazy, but it's How to Be a Boss. I really do like Lily Singh's Superwoman channel, but my favorite is her vlog channel because it's just so good. She uploads like almost every day, which I'm like, girl, how? That is a lot of work, but she does really put a lot of work into her videos and her vlog channel and everything, but that's besides the point. But when I found out she was making her book, I figured if I loved her vlogs, then I would really enjoy her book, and I was right. It's such a good book. It talks about how to not just survive life, but to conquer it, and how to just be a boss, a B-A-W-S-E, not a B-O-S-S, because -S, that's like in work, the work field, but a boss is like conquering life in all aspects, not just work, but in your love life, and your friendship life, just all parts of your life, and how to just be the best you you can be. I like one of her analogies in her book where she talks about life is like Nintendo. You can't control the other players. You can only control yourself and your actions. So focus on you and not all the stuff on, you know, the outside because you can't control those things. Chapters aren't too long, which I really love in nonfiction books. I kind of like people to get to the point and she does that really well and it's very thought provoking. I had a lot of moments where I paused the audio book and was like, yes, I must reflect on my life and the decisions I'm making and how I'm making those decisions. So now the book's not going to make you a boss in itself, but I do think it gives you like tips about how to start being a boss or acting like a boss or giving yourself the chance to think like a boss, which I really like. So that was all the books I had to show you guys. So I'm going to do a quick channel update for you guys. I did change the name of this channel to Style Me This because I felt like I had outgrown the other name for Urban Style, which I still love it. I just felt like I was growing up a little bit and the name needed to just change a little bit with me. I hope you guys don't mind the change. I really like it and it's just more suited to what my channel is, you know, currently, although style's still in it. So I don't know if it changed that much, but I just like the new name and just the update with the channel. I hope you guys like it. I am going to try to upload more. I'm going to try to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or just Monday and Friday. So if you're excited about seeing more videos a week, give this video a thumbs up because I'm very excited <laughs> about, you know, where this channel is going in the direction and going there with you guys. If you have any video recommendations or stuff you want to see, just comment them down below. I'm going to be answering every single comment because I love talking to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one very soon.